There's a lot of uh, decisions, that, uh, crop management decisions that are made well before planting and outcomes that, that are realized based on what happens right at planting time. There's four main ones uh, that are really important now. The first one, achieving uniform timing of emergence. And we look at that as, as about five to nine percent uh, of uh, the yield expectations. That there's a, several key factors there. One is to do everything we can with the planter to make sure we have a uniform planting depth. Secondly, to make sure that the seed furrow compaction is minimized. Third, to uh, minimize surface crusting. A and then fourth, make sure the seed furrow is closed. A and finally, to uh, make sure that uh, residue is removed from the row area. A lot of growers think that you have to have uh, plants emerge within hours of each other uh, to limit yield or, or that variability. And we find that it, as long as plants emerge within 48 hours of one another, uh, we're probably in good shape. The second factor is planting within the optimum window. That's uh, dictated mostly by weather. We want to plant as early as we can and still get plants established to make sure we use the whole growing season. That factor is much more important when we're looking at uh, uh, northern areas, but it's important everywhere. We're probably looking at about a, a two to five percent influence on that for the, that corn that's planted after the optimum window on, on the average. The third factor is achieving uh, the optimum plant population. And that decision is usually made uh, well before planting, but actually getting it done uh, is a fairly involved decision. We like to involve your sales rep in that. The optimum rate is influenced on the productivity level of the field, it's influenced on hybrids, and it's influenced on the weather you have in the season as well. Now, modern hybrids uh, have a wider window of optimum uh, than hybrids in the past, and so we have some flexibility there, but we're probably looking on the average at about a one to two percent effect on, of yield. And the last one of those key uh, planting outcomes I'd like to mention is achieving uniform plant spacing. Now this is one that's really uh, important to growers and gets a lot of attention because they really like to have picket fence stands, you know, every plant uniform space, the same size. And uniform plant spacing is important, but the main thing is to avoid skips. Otherwise, uh, if we have a few doubles or a few misplaced plants, the impact there is, is relatively small. So those are some key factors to look at as you go to the field this year. Weigh the various differences as you look at planting outcomes with a uniform timing of emergence being number one.